What up, Protest fans? It's your boy, Protest Sports. From the Protest Sports Network. Back with another video for y'all day, man. Hope you guys having a blast one, man. Staying safe, staying healthy on these streets. Um, just want to tell you I love y'all, man. I appreciate everything I do on the Protest Sports Network, man. Follow y'all when I have this channel. I more specifically, need to thank God for another day, man. Follow God. Follow y'all. I want to have this channel. So I thank God for y'all. I thank God for y'all support, man. Amen. Amen. So today we're about to get into this video, man. And today's video is on training camp day one. And we talked to the Washington football team and things that have actually transpired today. And we're all with very certain frustrations about certain things going on with the organization. Um, Simply the players and uh, the dibby of, uh, the, the, the dibby of the uh, the dibbying of the snaps between quarterbacks during the training camp to get a legit competition. Also, we're going to talk about today. So we're going to start with the uh, the unfortunate news, which is uh, Curtis Samuel and uh, cornerback uh, Greg Stroman has been put on the uh, pup list to start training camp. Uh, Curtis Samuel is still, still struggling with that, that groin injury that happened uh, during minicamp. He didn't really practice during minicamp because of the groin. It took the six weeks off. He's still not feeling 100% yet, so for precautionary reasons, they're putting him on the pup list. I don't think he's going to miss week one or anything like that. I don't think it's that, that serious, but uh, for precautionary reasons, I'm glad they put him on the pup list. Also, Greg Stroman got put on the pup list. I don't know what the exact injury is of Greg Stroman, but he's also on the pup list. The next thing we'll talk about is Cornelius Lucas was also put on the COVID-19 reserve list. That does not mean he has COVID-19. That means either he is getting tested because he came in contact with someone that had it or someone in his family or immediate circle has came in contact with someone that had COVID-19. So he want to make sure that he does not have COVID-19 before he comes back and returns to the team. So the team actually placed him on the list. But we don't know how long he'll be on that list. We don't know what's going on with it exactly. It does not mean he has COVID at this time. We will find out more details as time gets along. Um, also, another thing. Oh, Tim Settle uh, was also placed on the uh, non-football illness list. Pick him and DeShazer Everett, I believe. Don't quote me. Uh, but those guys were placed on the non-football illness list. Uh, might be some minor, like a stomach virus or something. I don't think it's nothing serious. I think they're fine. Um, so I don't think there's no worries on that either. If it was, if it was COVID related, you know, it's a separate COVID list for that. So um, he, they were even put on the COVID-19 reserve list if they had COVID. So it's not COVID related, which is good news. Um, next thing we're talking about is Ron Rivera. Uh, Ron Rivera, um, he's feeling the type way right now. He's kind of frustrated. Um, he's quote unquote, very frustrated with the lack of vaccinations among the team. The team is actually above 50% vaccination now, but it's still not up to Ron's um, standard, I guess. Um, he's saying that, hey, uh, I'm my, my immune system is not as strong. My immunity is not strong since I had the chemotherapy and I had beat cancer. Um, I am very, very weak with my immune system and I wanna make sure that my players are vaccinated. Um, they did not vaccinate. I hope they have a good reason why they're not. Um, so he's also he's also going to talk about the he's going to also talk to the unvaccinated players and see why they have not decided to take the COVID nineteen vaccination. Um, also, another thing uh, that happened today was Ron Rivera was asked about the debuting up between the uh, quarterback reps between Ryan Fitzpatrick and um, Taylor Heineke, and those uh, we we haven't gotten an answer to that yet about all of that so um he did he did not he did not state whether um that was going to uh how they're going to debut those reps yet so we'll see what happens with that um that is pretty much about it for this video uh to be honest with you um very very short and sweet and to the point um he also ran very hard the vaccination saying hey it's not about your paychecks it's at risk it's also your teammates as well so I mean, he's really, really adamant about people getting vaccinated um, and staying safe and um, making sure that um, and no one contracts COVID-19 on the team as much as possible. But the Washington football team had the least amount of COVID-19 cases last year in the NFL. So I think the Washington football team should be fine with the lack, even with the lack of vaccinations, I think they should be fine. Um, nothing should really happen to them as a squad, as a group. I think they should be fine.
Um, also, later on tonight, 9.30 p.m., I do have a live stream with uh, CG Rufus Sports, Steezy A. Smith, and also Pio Time. So please pull up to the stream at 9.30. Dope vibes. Um, really good things, man, on the channel. Also, more stuff on the way. Merch on the way. Um, channel memberships on the way. All that stuff's on the way. I'm going to have an update stream sometime this week, probably Friday. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. And also one more thing, Logan Thomas's contract details were released. Um, the uh, the contract deals was eight, uh, three years, $24 million. So $8 million per season and also $10.3 million guaranteed. And also Landon Collins was not placed on the pup list. So he's fully healthy, ready to go. Was that me for Cameron Curl? Was that me for Landon Collins? Who's going to win that star, that star and strong safety job? Who knows? We will find out as training camp gets along. So... We'll, we'll see how that transpires. Uh, Landon has the experience, but Cameron has this slight um, edge in athleticism and ball skills. So we're going to see what they prefer in their strong safety, and we'll see who becomes the star, star, star and strong safety of the Washington football team. That's going to do it for me, man. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys are new. Turn post notifications or catch a protest sports video at the Protest Sports Network. You guys put God first and save this COVID-19. All my game wants to have like the time sports choice. Professional on the field. Technical sound. Funny sound. You will also have kind of like a time. I have less than poor hard dedication, man. Protest fans have always have a great one, guys. Thank you guys for all your support on the Protest Sports Network. And I pray that you guys have a wonderful day and staying safe. Take it easy, y'all. Peace.